hi, welcome to today. I had a full on different video that I was gonna shoot today, but then I realized how much I hate this hallway. <laughs> the thing about it also is I know I'm in the midst of not only like three different home projects for myself, but some for other people. And uh, we're still gonna just continue kind of dabbling into different rooms until the whole place is Pinterest worthy. I walk past these doors every single day and I guess it really never bothered me until today when I was driving home thinking there's no possible way that I could live one more day looking at these. This is the top floor. The place that I'm in has three distinct floors and they're all very different. Mainly this top floor is sucky. Let me just walk you through what's going on. Just to get the lay of the land, I know I haven't done a house video and that's because it's not done. This is the main floor that you see the most amount. But when you start going up the stairs is when things get really ugly. First of all, I hate the stairs, but that's fine. That's for another day. Right when you walk up, you're greeted with a wall that looks kind of nice right now, but is actually not. When I got the downstairs brick put in, it's like brick veneer, I also hated how blank these walls were, so I had them just put any color. I told them that I don't care what color it'll be because I'm gonna paint it white. And then I ended up liking it because it was a little bit warm. So even though I liked it then, I don't like it now. That's what growth is, baby. And that's the filming room we know and love that. Do we love it? Either way, we know it. So we have a wall that's kind of uh, purposeless. We have a bathroom. This is a failed DIY. Let's just close the door on that. Through a little bit of Googling, I found out these are called louvered doors. They are meant to keep ventilation or light. This is where all of my laundry is, so I understand that there needs to be a little bit of ventilation. But I can just open some pretty doors instead of looking at ugly louvered doors. So today, I am going to make these louvered doors not ugly. I'm basically just gonna take all of the slats and cover them up. Initially, I was gonna like saw them out, but I will Oh wait, this is incredible. Now that I'm looking at it a little closer, I can see a solution. When you get close to this, you can see that there is a divot. I'm gonna cut pieces of wood to cover all the panels and then I will glue and nail gun little pieces of trim. I do not have a sliding miter saw. That was a friend's that I borrowed for the last project, so I'll have to buy that. But we're fine. I'm investing in my future of not hating it every time I walk in this hallway. Moving on, this is another closet that I keep all of my fall clothes. A lot of suitcases that could potentially be peed in by said creme. Don't pee, no, don't pee in them. No, no, go elsewhere. So this is where I <laughs> look like I just got out of the shower. I didn't want to take the closet doors off because I was unsure of what to do because I also hated these. I actually got these from a thrift store. They're very long and like very boring. So whatever this ends up looking like, I will duplicate it on these. Oh, also this. I don't really know what to do here. I don't know if I hate it or if it doesn't bother me that much. The main thing we need to tackle is all of it. It's all of it. Holy crap, look at this danger that goes so far down. Do you feel danger? Are you danger? Truly couldn't care less. Today's goals are number one, kill it. Number two, tackle these louvered doors, paint the brick. All of these I'm going to paint that a really nice light gray. And then after these doors are fixed, I'm going to paint them black. Also, I'm going to paint these doors black. That's the goal and that's the plan. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm on the way to Home Depot. I have taken measurements. I have, what else have you done? I've done the math of what I need to buy at Home Depot and on the way, I am now deciding that this is going to be a 48 hour project, mainly because I really spend a lot of time doing DIYs, especially when they're home decor. I feel like that will be a fun little thing to make everything harder on myself. So 48 hours starting now, it's 2.43 on, I don't know what day it is. Is that the motto of a creative? I left in such a hurry that I didn't bring my measurements. So now I could like kind of guess what I think it is. That's not the greatest option though, but I am here, so let's make the most of it. I don't know how to do that either. Each, oh, each of these underlayments are about $8 and I've got eight of them and I'm gonna still have to cut them down. But I just saw that they have these big ass sheets that could do the same job and the price is $9.98. So I think I'm gonna do this 
and cut them into what I think I can use. I got four big pieces of wood. I had people at Home Depot cut them, but a tip for anyone getting stuff cut at Home Depot, they don't really care about your project, so I would always get bigger. It's almost disrespectful how it was cut. So what I'm gonna do is I have a workhorse, 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 twinning. I'm gonna cut them by myself more fastidiously. A word? No, no. Oh, look at this atrocious, friggin' egregious attack on humanity. Look at that. That's not a cut. That's rude. I also spent three hours at Home Depot when I meant to spend 30 minutes. I didn't even get the trim because I was so overwhelmed. So let's just work on this for now and hopefully we can feel better soon. Yesterday we had some hiccups, mainly I measured completely wrong and had to re-measure everything. I only had one workhorse and I tried to cut without a straight edge or wood clamps. So I really set myself up for failure. Today, however, we have some tunes. We also have a fall candle. I'm ready to crush. Oh yeah, this is what happened yesterday. That's not straight. A lady just stopped and stared at me for a while and then told me to be careful in a very ominous like foreshadowing way and I am very nervous about this because I have never really used a circular handsaw before and I've already messed up a bunch. So now I'm like, am I gonna hurt myself? out of order, but so far it looks cool. I fit all of the wood pieces into the slots and I saw that some of them didn't quite fit, so I had to go down and cut them so that they would actually fit, put them back up, and then use a nail gun and shove those suckers in there. I took down this really terrible curtain situation that was over the second closet, and then I filled in all the holes with caulk as well as wood filler. So this is what we have so far. I primed this wall. It looks pretty good, but like not great. I just used the primer that was left in my house from uh, two years ago when I moved in, so I should probably get new paint. In all of my back and forth trips to Home Depot, I have tried a bunch of different grays. I decided that the next time I went to Home Depot, I would just buy a gallon of gray and whatever gray that is, I'm gonna live with it. We're on a time schedule here. Before I paint, I should say a prayer. I've gotta sand this anyway, so I'm also gonna sand where I caulked so that I have a smooth finish before I paint. I get sick of one thing, so then I refocus, and then by the time I get sick of whatever I was focusing on, I go back to the other thing. So it's a very unconventional way of doing this, but it is getting done. And I can tell you right now that I am loving it. This is so friggin' cool! All that I need to do now is fully paint that wall, paint that one white, sand this, make trim molding, nail this, wood fill, sit. It is a lot now that I say it. So let's just get to it. It's almost seven o'clock. I've spent, I think about six hours painting that wall, painting this wall. I'm so sick of the color white. I truly feel like I'm in heaven or at a Weird Al concert. This is too much white. So I'm either going to quit or paint a different color. I really wanna paint black because I just need to see some sort of pigment. Because the gray that I chose, it just looks like the white. So maybe I'll, you know what, we'll just see what I do. It's 8 a.m. the next morning. I completely knocked out because turns out this is really exhausting, especially if you do it alone, which I gotta stop doing this. This is what we're working with now, and I think it's majority majestic. However, this paint color, I was warned by the Home Depot employee that it will oxidize a different color, and you never know which way it's gonna go. This one went blue. I'm hoping when the doors are black, things will look a little less blue. But maybe blue is good, because I need to calm down. Today should be the last day of the renovation. I'm gonna measure for a third time the trim that I need, I'm also going to draw the same exact blueprint that that closet has on these so that these are the exact same looking doors. The cool thing about this is it's going to work. Since I covered all the louvered panels with this underlayment, we have basically a flush surface. They're gonna look identically the same when I put the trim pieces. Some of my work has been shoddy, so I'm gonna get 
trim that is thick enough to fill all of these little human-made holes. We're not gonna call them mistakes, just a human-made hole. And that should be good. I'm going to Lowe's today because I have spent so many of my years in a Home Depot. So as I was duplicating the measurements on this door, onto this door, I realized when I got really close to this that uh, the doors are different sizes. This door is two inches higher than this one. So what I'm gonna do is shave an inch off the top and bottom of all my measurements. And by doing that, since I've already taken measurements, I don't wanna do extra work. I measured the distance between the top to this middle ring and then also from the bottom of the ring to the start of the next panel. I then duplicated that on here. Since those are horizontal lines and again, trying to do less work, I found this air grip level. This casts a line that I'm just going to trace with a yardstick and a Sharpie. So this should take off a good 10 minutes, which we all know I needed for sleep. I took measurements from both closets, added them up all together, divided it into feet, and I need 138 feet of trim. All right, last looks. Oh, took off. oh God. I have my 17, oh. I have my 17 bundles of square trim. I went square for two reasons. Mainly one, it was way more affordable. And secondly, as I expected. And secondly, there's so many of them that I didn't want it to get too much with any sort of design or ornate touch to it. So I'm just gonna cut them to what I think it should be. That's not how you would work. I just cut four pieces and before I cut all of the rest of them, I'm gonna see if they fit. Also, the only time you'll see a bra strap. This is how you know I don't care about what I look like. That's like a deadly sin for me. Oh my dear goodness. It is perfect! Oh, it looks a little less perfect. But, uh, this isn't working well. How about we just cut all the big ones first? Actually, you don't need to see this part. How about I come back when I've figured it out? Hi, I figured it out. Since there's two of these, I need to shave off a half an inch from each side of these. So one full inch, I did it. I'm back and I'm better. Now let's put them all together. Hello, new motto. Now that it's time to put these up, I just so lovingly placed them all on the floor. I'm gonna take these trim sticks. I'm using liquid nails for the back of it. And then I'm gonna use my nail gun with two inch brad nails. And this should look done. Let's see if it's that easy. So I've never used liquid nails before and I think this might explode because it said to puncture it. I was pushing it with all my might through this gun so I kind of feel like this is just gonna be really bad. Found a puncture tool right on the top. This might be horrible, but it might be awesome. And it might not work. Are you punctured? Sure, at least it's not a wreck. <laughs> see if it looks good. But you had other plans for today, mainly being a rebellious prick. Just Is this a waste of time? Please fit, please fit. Oh, and it's too big. this is because this end didn't go very well. Something went wrong with my dimensions to where all the sticks that I measured, they just didn't fit. So I've got to get more of these. It's funny because in the beginning of this, Willy Wonka hair, I was only going to do that and that's pretty much done. But now I decided to take on more than I initially wanted to. Some of these do fit. So I'm just going to pop those on here and then I will go get new trim. This will be done today. I shouldn't mention this now, but I came across this book. The gray that I want is like a little baby dolphin gray. You can see how blue it is. Since I have to go back and get new trim, I'm gonna see if I can find a paint color that looks like this, and then we will be done.
It is now nighttime. I'm very excited about this paint because when I went to Home Depot to try and return the paint that I had already put on the wall, I brought that book and I was like trying to figure out which of two different shades was exactly like that shade. And so she was like, what are you doing with that book? Very pointed. She introduced me to something called color matching. Oh, you know what? She gave me a thing to open this. She did so much for me. I also finally bought a mask. I've been woodworking in a really dangerous way that I would not recommend. So I finally got some of these now that I'm almost done with this. Oh, I'm so pumped! It was between these two colors, and yeah, I know they look the same, but they're so very not. But the paint color, hello, that I walked out with, I don't feel great about this because I do feel like I'm going to spill it, but you must see it. Oh yeah. Now that it's nighttime, I'm gonna paint, which I kind of like doing because it's like a gift in the morning. It's a present that not only you thought of, but that you researched, found, bought, and wrapped. So it's really like not a surprise. Nothing to say, a bunch to do. We have reached the end. I have finished putting all the pieces on here. I filled the wood holes. I used a power sander on the edges, and then I went in with a four 400 grit just piece of sandpaper on the sides so everything is fully ready to be painted. I am going to leave you be until it's all done. So the next thing you'll see is these painted black, this painted the color of the book, and maybe decorations? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think we've done enough here. Let's finish it out. Oh, hello. Welcome to the new life. I can't stop looking at it. Look at it. It's truly perfect. Also, let's see how good this color matching is. I mean, that's the same. It really feels like I actually like my house now, which is a crazy thing to say. I know, I don't know, I get it. But like, look at just this area right here. The white brick, this beautiful, very shy baby dolphin color, sexy black, and a vintage gold knob. Forget everything I've said about having a tight before. This is what happened. Oh, hello? I had this big entryway table in my room, which is a god-awful mess, but I put it here and I don't hate it. It feels a little bit more familial. It has kind of more of a purpose there, and it's really inviting for some reason. I just actually love it. You can tell, like, I worked really hard on all of this, but this room and this room are just a Atrocious. One thing at a time. All right, here we go. The final reveal.